I was fixing my hair. I didn't know you were all there. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, had an eventful day today. It was really interesting. And um, I'm in high spirits. So I just wanted to round off my day by saying a little some some. I can't believe I even forgot that I was already live. So, what I wanted to say briefly is that that um obviously the title of this is about saboteurs i wanted to address people who sabotage other people and what i wanted to just say is that if you have to do that to somebody else if you have to sabotage someone else what you are telling the universe is that you have no purpose and when you have no purpose you have no vision and when you have no vision you have no focus which means you don't know who the hell you are I could be more rude about it and put it bluntly but I'm just gonna be um, kind and the reason why I'm saying this is because I've encountered some people who think that by throwing rocks at the fruit of other people's tree it will make their tree grow you know much much more beautiful but I'm just sorry to give you bad news that's not the way it works because how you do someone else's work is how you will do your own if you put so much passion and truth and love into someone else's productivity naturally when you do your own it will be instinctive it will be autopilot and for you to actually be doing that is something um, really really sad and unfortunate because you're just hurting your own soul you're hurting your own essence you're hurting your own truth and you're stunting your own growth and it shocks me at the amount of times I go out to perform and I'm just doing my own thing I'm not even worried I don't I'm not focusing on what other people are doing I'm yeah I support I celebrate but it's the negativity that comes from uh, with envy and a jealous spirit to the point that I'm not lying to you. I don't really want to name and shame people, but there are some places in London where I've gone to perform where they collude and they sabotage my microphone. And other people have seen them do it or sabotage other people's guitar or, or they would... Um, sabotage the music if they were like the house band and, and start playing wrong chords to to throw off the artist and some people are very very musically illiterate or ignorant they're just lame i said lame people not being rude so when they're watching a performance if it sounds wrong or it sounds off or out they they would uh, assume that it's the artist who's not good but sometimes it's not it's the people around sabotaging that person. I've seen it over and over and over and over again. It's stifling. Stop it. It's not good. Stop it. It's not good. It's evil. It's malicious. It's vindictive. It's, it's, it's satanic. It's luciferian. That's not what creativity is about. I always feel that to be a creative person is the closest you'll ever get to God. You know, it's the closest you'd ever get to the great creator to be able to open up your wellness, your, your soul and, and produce something that evokes uh, a, a passion or, or love or emotion out of another being. It's a powerful tool and gift to have. So to dispossess that by abusing it it's 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 cruel it's just cruel and unkind and you you're not doing yourself a favor because you're misrepresenting yourself with all that power you having with you you have within you if the best you can do with it is to hurt somebody else shame on you so um sometimes i i i just take notes and i don't say anything i just take notes i just watch in 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 amazement and sometimes i've done it for over a period of time to just catalog events and take diaries and know how these 
sociopaths or these people, how they operate, you know, because um, a pastor once said, which I heard that until you've been around demons and evil spirits, you won't know how they think, how they work, how they operate. So sometimes when people are going through trials and they're going through a rough time, God the universe is allowing you to go through that because that will be your testament to your strength. That will become fertilizer, manure, that will make you grow. And it will be a place from where you would begin your amazingness because you have so much background, you have so much experience, you know, you, you've seen it all and you know exactly how they work. You know exactly how they, 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 they do, they throw their shade. So, I know all about um, trials, adversity, and tribulation, and overcoming all sorts. You know, people have done things, pushed me to the edge where I've lost my sanity. And I thought I was the only one going through this. And lo and behold, I spoke with a very good friend who told me that, listen, you're not the only one going through this. Um, especially on the issue of racism, um, where we color people face always this, we, we, well, not always, sometimes we, we come across this pro-white agenda. So you're trying to be productive and you always get this pro-white agenda suppressing what you're doing. And I was, ex it was explained to me that I'm not the only one. I generally thought I was the only person experiencing racism in this country or in this world. But beyond that, actually, it's um, this this topic of sabotaging other people, sabotaging other people that I wanted to address is actually happening within my own community. I'm not even I'm not even so much bothered about what other races are doing because I know the Chinese have got their own cliques together. I know the Jewish community have got their own cliques together, and I'm pretty not sure know that the white community. Caucasian community, they've got their own thing going on. The Latinas have got their own things going, their own thing going on. My issues are my colored people, my colored people, my own kind, people who are my own reflection, who think that the only way they can progress is by sabotaging me. It is absolutely <laughs> sad to think that you will think like that. Because let me tell you something. Other races don't really care about your race because they have their own issues to worry about. So when you go out of your way to stifle me, you are stifling yourself because you are stifling your own reflection. And when you support my creativity, you are supporting yourself. When I do well, paradventure, if I do well, I make black people look good. I don't make a Chinese person look good. I don't make um, the Indian Asian community look good. I don't make white people look good. I make black people look good. So when you make me look bad, guess what, honey? You are making yourself look bad because you're a reflection of me. It's really interesting how some Black people, colored people don't realize that. Sometimes other races come into our community to stir shit up. Yes.